So I wanted to show you how I clean my brushes and for acrylic painting, I need to clean these brushes every single time I use them. So as soon as my painting session is done, I come into my bathroom um, downstairs here by my studio and I want to get the water lukewarm, not super hot. So I have it as cold as I can stand it. I have one of these metal grids that came in a, um, one of those cleaning glass jars for cleaning brushes, a brush cleaner. And I've taken it out of that glass jar and I've just put it here at the bottom now for helping me to clean my brushes. And for my acrylic paint, I like to use this master's um, cake of um, brush cleaner. It's shrunk over time. It actually filled this whole thing. And this, this really was so great. I've had this for a couple of years and it's just now starting to get towards the end. And the way I'd clean my brushes is, is first, and I'm gonna get a brush that's dirty. First, I take the brush and I just kind of rinse it underneath that water. Again, making sure the water is not at all warm, making sure that it's as, as cold as I can handle it. So it doesn't melt any of the glue that's inside of the ferrule. So if that water is hot, you might think of hot water as being best for cleaning, but it's gonna be worse on your brushes. So what I do is I go into that paint and I, or into that cake, and I just rub my brush on it, pulling the brush, never pushing, pulling. I don't want to ruin those bristles. And then I rub the brush in my palm, wiggling it downward, or in a bit of a, kind of like, almost like a, like a circle without pushing up on the bristles. Then I rinse it in the water. Again, I rub, just rub gently in the soap. And again, push and wiggle downward until my bubbles are clean. And I do that as many times as needed, as many steps. Again, being gentle with those bristles so that brush will last me as long as possible. And if I take care of my brushes, they can last, you know, much longer than they would have if I didn't do this. Some brushes last years. Some brushes only last a couple of paintings, depending on the way you paint and the quality of the brush. Now, once I've got that brush suitably clean, I hold it upside down so the bristles are pointing downward and I spin it between my fingers to get the worst of the water off. You can also tap it on the back of your hand or on your palm to get the worst of the bristles out. Shape it and then lay it flat or if you are able to hang it upside down. You can get these like uh, metal spring looking things that you can pop the brush into to, to let it hang. That way the water comes out. It drains out of that um, that brush and out of the ferrule. You do not want the water to be gathering in the ferrule and ruining your brush. I, I just lay mine flat because I don't have one of those brush hangers. And then I go on to the next brush. Now, depending on the colors that you use, some colors are more staining than others. So if I'm using, for example, a, um, a red like this one, quinacridone red, every now and then I can use this little grid to help me clean if I'm having trouble with the brush. But every now and then I get these colors that are more staining on the brush and they will, especially with these white bristles, stain the brush. So it'll always look pink or green or blue, but that doesn't do anything to the bristles. It, it won't affect the way that the brush paints or your quality of the brush. It just stains it the color. So don't, don't stress out about that. If you can't get the color out of the bristle itself, it doesn't mean the brush isn't clean. You just wanna make sure that when you're pulling that brush down and wiggling it, that your, your bubbles are nice and clean and not pink anymore. And if they are, again, this one, I'm just gonna kind of rub it a little bit, make sure I get it as clean as I can. Spin it, tap it, shape it if needed, and lay it flat. And I'll do the same thing with all of my brushes, getting them all clean. And this is a step that I have to build into my time when I'm doing a painting session, if I know I only have two hours to paint, I'll go down to my studio and I'll make sure I set my timer 20 minutes before I need to be back upstairs for either my son to come home or I need to make dinner. And that way, I build in that 20 minutes to clean my brushes. It's super important. This is an investment in our tools. And the more you take care of your tools, the better that your paintings will be because those tools are so important to mark making. Okay, 
Hvala.